Welcome back to another video from Farmer Scoobs. In today's video, our six separate cabs are going out. So I'm just going around right here now. Come on. Come on. There they go. Come on. It's their first time ever being out here. So let's hope this isn't going to be a disaster. Come on. Hup. Come on. Come on. Yep. Go. Oh, this is going to be a disaster. Thanks, mommy. We're going to be going through electric fence in a minute. Yep, suck, 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 suck. Six, 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 six. Hey, hey, hey. No. And that's what happens. We are two down already. Two gone for a walk around. But at least these four are still here. They'll give it welly up and down the field for a while. And here comes back to the two. Did you get lost? All right, guys, I'm going to leave it at that for this clip. I'm going to have to go and fix this electric fence now. And we'll chat to you in a few. All right, guys, welcome back. We're on our way up to the field now with the motivator the day is brightened up really well i haven't looked at this ground up here this morning it has made quite a bit of rain last night so i'm just hoping that it's dry enough dry enough to go at this we we'll know in the first couple of minutes whether it is or it isn't we need the clay to be good and dry for it to break up and to make a seabed I'm just hoping that it'll take a couple of like it'll take a couple of passes. It'll probably take two or three passes of the rotavator just to get it fine, fined up and broke up, and uh, we get the chain hammer on. Then and I'm going to try and level it as best I can. Then with the chain hammer, and we should be good then for seed. So let's see how it goes. All right, guys, so we're back here. We're tilling ground. I've just had the drone up. Got a couple of clips, mightn't be too great. The one has actually crashed over in that tree. I have to pick that up on the way back. Yeah, it's not as easy flying a drone while trying to operate a tractor at the same time. But I think I got a couple of clips. And if I can, when I get into the middle of this, I might get it back up again. I have to go pick it up now on the next round back. It's on the ground in here, which is the main thing. It's not stuck up on the tree. So not having much luck with the old drone today or yesterday. Look at it is what it is, we'll get it now in a few minutes. Um, the ground seems to be tilling up just nice. It'll definitely take more than one run, which I don't mind, I kind of figured as much anyway that it was going to take a couple of runs to do it. But it's dry enough anyway at the minute to go at it, so I'm just going to probably spend the next couple of hours getting this done and get it, get it broke up. It's actually breaking up quite nice now. I'd say if we got another run in the opposite direction on the next round, 
I'd say it'll probably be good enough, which is good. All right, guys, we'll catch you in a few. Alright guys, so I'm just back here now. We have just done three passes on the ground and as you can see yourself there just in and along here, it seems to have broken up very finely and we have some crows coming in, bloody oaks. And it has turned out, I think it's turned out considerably well. Now. The next job will be we're going to run the chain harrow on it just to level off any imperfections that's there but i think the seed bed itself has actually has actually come up very well now there's a small ridge down here 
on the video that you can that you can just about make out and that is where the, i made the mistake of i started plowing down here and i went to the far side of the field and i started plowing back to it probably shouldn't have done that because i've left myself a trench where the two furrows had met, met each other so when i was doing it i was bringing the furrow this way and then when i was coming back to the field i was going this way so it left this big gap in the middle and that's what that ridge has formed so what i'm hoping to do is when i get the chain harrow on i'm going to sort of do a sort of a figure eight doesn't matter what the chain harrow because the chain the ground will level in after the after the chain harrow anyway but i'm going to try and pull in some of the clay to try and level in that ridge and try and just build it back up but besides that as for the road of Aiden, i think it has done very well I think it's come out very well. But anyways, guys, like I said, please like and subscribe to the channel, and we will catch you tomorrow. You should have the beacons on. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a necessity.